Okay, the life cycle of Erisaifi, uh, since we already did Pythium, no, uh, it is not so tough. So you know we have the vegetative structure, then the asexual and asexual reproduction. And um, since you girls have written very well, all of, all of you have done the assignment so well. So diagram also you've drawn very well, no, on this uh, reproduction of Erisaifi. So I'm actually very happy with everybody's um, work okay so let's just see this is just the um, uh, what to say the classification then the vegetative body it has short uninucleate cells that are superficial okay um, it is attached to the leaf and draw nourishment by hostorial branches okay superficial means it's on top of the leaf surface okay they exist like this the cells like that like that okay <coughs> so those are the diagrams you can see the sing uh, these cells spherical cells attach one on top of the other and then um on here this one is the uh, plant cell and you can see that the hostoria is uh, penetrating inside the uh, host cell okay host means plant okay so this one and this is the same image okay same picture so you can see that uh, they all this is the leaf surface they are like this on top but they anchor themselves inside the cell of the leaf okay so they appear as a powder okay let me repeat again uh, when you see something powdery powdery you know on leaves so you will know that it is the erisaifi okay because they are on the surface okay they don't uh, they don't make the leaf brown or black or dead no they just uh, like a powder only on the leaf like a powder this powder no it's because they are arranged in chains like this okay round uh, here you can see they they come out of the they are on top of the uh, leaf so this is the leaf no and this is the leaf cell and the hostoria penetrate inside so it's very easy not tough at all so how it develops it is an erect outgrowth from a cell in the older part of the hypha. It grows upwards at right angle to the surface of the host. Okay, so known as a conudo for initial. So the, there's a foot cell and then um, the cell subtending the conudo for initial is known as the foot cell. Okay. Um, Okay, so this is the leaf, okay, host of the leaf and this is the cell, okay, let's see. Then this first cell is known as your conidiophore initial. Then directly next to it is the foot, okay. This one is CI conidiophore initial, then next is the foot. Then you have upper conidious or generative cell and lower lower stalk cell okay so you have this initial then the foot then you have the uh, stalk cell and the generative cell okay stalk cell and the generative cell so they just keep arranging like that one on top of the other so these uh, the generative cell they have dense cytoplasm okay uh, with Dense cytoplasm means it has a lot of organelles. Okay, so lots of ribosomes, lots of, and there's no like there's no glycogen though. So let's see how the conidia develop. Okay, so the generative cell. So remember, you have the conidiophore initial, then the foot cell, then the uh, stalk cell, then the generative cell. Then this one will divide. Okay, so let's see. It will cut off the first conidium initial at its tip. Followed by extension of the generative cell and another division to the latter, producing the second conidium initial below, which is pushed above. So, let's learn from the diagram. Okay, so we can see the foot cell. Okay, you can see the foot cell. And then, this is the cell that we will concentrate on. Okay. So, this cell divides into a 
a generative cell and a stalk cell okay then this generative cell it's dividing we can see here it's starting to divide and then you have a nucleus a nucleus on both sides and then you have will get a first conidium and then a second conidium so this generative cell divide okay 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 this is the generative cell this is the foot cell conidium initial below okay so what happened this one divide so now we have two cells then this one will divide then we are having uh, how many one two three cell then this one will divide we will have one two three four cell okay so that's how it keeps growing it's not this one which will divide it's not the first one it's always the next one okay so next to it always so it's easy enough so it germinates when the temperature and the humidity is at this ranges okay so there it's written there uh, so you need water also okay so you just go through uh, I don't need to explain it's there no the, it's already written there then let's look at the sexual reproduction in erysiphae 